Nothing can change your life like a beautiful, healthy smile. But not everyone who needs braces can afford them. Dr. Ron Wilson and the team at Wilson Orthodontics are proud to be a part of the Smile for a Lifetime Foundation, which awards free orthodontic treatment to deserving young people right here in our community. The deadline for the current round of applications is May 1st. Just go to wilsonbraces.com and click on the Smile for a Lifetime logo. Smile for a Lifetime, a proud public service from Wilson Orthodontics. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams. The head of the Atlanta-based Georgia Association of Latino Elected Officials, or GALEO, said Tuesday night there is strong evidence that the city of Gainesville is out of compliance with the Federal Voting Rights Act. GALEO Executive Director Jerry Gonzalez told members of the Voting Rights Committee for the city of Gainesville meeting on Aviation Boulevard that the present at-large voting process unfairly dilutes minority voting efforts. Gonzalez says he still hopes the city will choose to work with Galeo and avoid a costly court battle. Two high-ranking officials have resigned at Georgia's Department of Agriculture, including Chief Operating Officer Billy Skaggs, who once served as Hall County's Extension Director. As COO, Skaggs oversaw day-to-day -day operations of the department. The director of the Ag Department's Food Safety Division also resigned March 30th. A department spokeswoman would not say why the men left. An ongoing dispute between Jackson and Banks Counties came up again at last night's Banks County Commission meeting. At issue is a business on Highway 440. 41 at Banks Crossing and whether it sits in one or both counties. And of course, that causes confusion over property taxes. Banks County Commissioner Charles Turk says the widening of U.S. Highway 441 through the Banks Crossing area has impacted property lines and caused the fuss. And the construction of a large shopping center on Gainesville's west side can now move forward. The City Planning and Appeals Board had to make one final approval on a stream buffer variance before the Dawsonville Highway Plan got the final go-ahead. They did that and now construction can begin on the 25-acre site. With this Access News break, I'm B.J. Williams.